Let me ask as a longtime science covering reporter and science fiction fan, but also an AI skeptic, how confident are you about this super intelligence thing? I mean, we've had the chat GPT revolution for a few years now, and it seems to produce often super stupidity uh, instead. Or at least if you turn off the, turn the temperature way down and feed it with rag and tell it only to use trusted forces and pull the citations and to make citations to real things, not imaginary things, you will get the lowest common denominator of what you put in the database. That, you know, the exact opposite of creativity and super intelligence and the ability to discover anything new, the LLM seemed to be, you know, the great distiller of sort of thin gruel from the so combined knowledge of human civilization, uh, which is useful in certain applications, like for the government here in DC, we produce reams of paper no one ever wants to read, so we can make the AI read them and summarize them for us. How is, how, how is that heading towards super intelligence as opposed to super mediocrity? It, so to go back to the stupidity point, the fact that AI is good at something doesn't mean the process that it's embedded in makes any sense at all. I don't agree with some of the things you said, in particular that the, the algorithms are so much better in terms of hallucinations and so forth in the last year, and they're getting much stronger. But the real arrival is reinforcement learning, which allows you to do path-dependent reasoning. Greatest inventors, they see a pattern in one area and then they're able to apply it in a completely different area. We don't today have the algorithms to produce that and people are working on it. So the answer to your question is I'm betting that we can solve that problem. If we can't, then we'll just be stuck with a computer in your pocket that's as smart as the smartest human ever lived, which is big enough.